it's time to create the best TBR you've ever seen for spooky season. I am so, I've never been more ready. I've never been more ready. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to TBR Cluedo, my TBR game, and it's October! How is it like already time for October? That's a scam to me, that is a scam. I'm nodding like I understand, but I'm not so sure I do. But this is October's TBR Cluedo. We're gonna be picking the books to read for spooky season. I'm hoping for a lot of thrillers, horror, mystery, all that kind of stuff. And I'm hoping TBR Cluedo will be kind to me. We'll find out together. So yeah, let's just get into it. This video is being sponsored by Skillshare, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. So yeah, we're hoping in terms of what we're going for, what we're trying to get from the board, thrillers, mysteries, horror are basically the goal. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying to read a lot of them this month. My TBR for this month is like ridiculously long. I've got some really uh, ambitious videos that I wanna come out with, which like, I mean, we'll see how well it goes. <laughs> but let's just get ahead into roll one. Okay, time for roll one. Person number two, which is purple here in mystery. Let's see how many we roll. Oh, we've got a one and a five. Okay, where should we go? <laughs> Let's go. What can I get to in five or six? Theoretically, lots of them, but I don't. I always find it hard. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That is number three, which is start a new series. <laughs> oh God, okay. So roll one. It was a mystery that is the start of a new series. And I've been, I, I've been a really good girl. I've got to tell you all, I've been trying so hard not to start any new series. I really have, like I, <laughs> but this has forced my hand and we have to start a new series. So I am going to finally be reading In the Hall with the Knife. I'm so excited. This has been one of the books I want to read the most. It is a clue or Cluedo kind of re inspired book. We're following the characters Scarlet, Mustard, Green, Peacock, Plum, or Orchid. I feel like Orchid is not one in the UK. Or am I dumb? Is my Cluedo card gonna be revoked? <laughs> They are students at this elite prep school called Blackbrook Academy. They are left stranded in a storm on campus with their headmaster. Hours later, his lifeless body is discovered in a pool of blood. So it's an isolated mystery. It's inspired by Cluedo. <laughs> like my whole game is based off of. And I've been so excited to read this for a really long time, but it's one of those series. I talk about this quite often because I've been conscious about me being in the middle of too many series. I don't start the ones I want to read the most. Um, that doesn't make no sense. If I do start a series, it's one that I don't really think about. I just start without thinking about it. But the series I want to start the most, I haven't been starting out of like punishment for some reason. But yeah, we're finally gonna begin this. My understanding is that it's a YA series, but it's quite young YA, which I don't always have the best luck with. But I think in a mystery, I'm more likely to. Usually it's fantasy I struggle with when it's more young YA. But yeah, I'm just hoping I'm gonna love it and it's gonna be like fun, campy ridiculousness. Roll number two. Person number one, which is green here in fantasy. Let's see how many we roll. Whoa. Oh, we got one or a two. I guess we've just got to go one, two, three to number 12, which is a favorite author. Okay, we can work with that. Roll two was a fantasy book that is a favorite author and I am going to be reading Babel Babel. <laughs> I'm reading Babel by Elf Quag. I know, we're all crying. We're all simultaneously crying. <laughs> I am so excited to read this. I'm gonna read it in a couple weeks time for a video I've got planned. And just seeing all the reviews come in for this, you know, so many people I've seen saying it's their favorite book of the year, one of their favorite books they've ever read. And that just makes total sense my fantasy because if you saw recently, I did a video where I finished the Poppy War trilogy, I'll leave it linked, ruined me. <laughs> I'm crying mentally, I'm very emotional. The fact that I already love her writing so much, but then this is Dark Academia. Dark Academia is my thing. If you don't know, I. I like love almost every Dark Academia-ish book I read and I love clever books and I feel like I haven't been reading enough clever books this year. I really love books that like stretch me. Of course I love like a, you know, simple quick thriller, but I love books that like challenge me mentally. I really, really do. So yeah, I'm just so excited for this. There's footnotes. I actually might cry. 
just how excited I am. So yeah, reading Babel this month, Babel, oh, I still don't know what to call it. My understanding is you guys tell me, because this book is obviously all about translation. I haven't even talked about what it's about. Um, not that I really know. It's set in Oxford in 1836. I know it's to do with translation. I know it's to do with racism, colonialism, the blood that these kind of UK British institutions are built on. Anyways, yeah, my understanding is that it can be Babel or Babel, that's the whole point, is to do with translation. So anyways, in different languages. So yeah, uh, reading that this month and I'm so excited to see what I think of it. But before we get any further into the video, I wanna say a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. So if you've been here for a long time, you know I love Skillshare. <laughs> I discovered Skillshare years and years ago. I think I began using it when I was about 14. You know, a lot of the roots of my uh, skills with editing or Photoshop or whatever, the roots that come from when I learned stuff when I was much younger before I had my channel on Skillshare. So I owe a lot to Skillshare. And Skillshare is just the perfect place if you have a new skill that you wanna learn. They have classes on illustration, painting, graphic design, photography, video editing, productivity, plant growing, like anything you can imagine, cooking. Like they have classes on everything and it is the perfect place to go and explore if you want to learn a new skill. So a class I recently started and have really been enjoying is Advanced Video Editing with Premiere Pro by Geordie Vanderpert. I have been learning so much. <laughs> I really wanted to level up my video editing. I feel like a lot of the basics I learned when I was young and then I've been like almost self-taught just kind of discovering stuff as I went along but I've been learning mistakes that I've been doing like uh, the whole class on and this is very nerdy but like set to frame size versus scale to frame size and I've been doing the wrong one and so listen Geordie's been teaching me I've been learning and I really feel like so much of what I've learned I can implement in my videos and make them better and something that is super exciting is you guys can try it out too I would 100% recommend you do the first a thousand people to click link down below will get one whole month free of Skillshare and honestly just give it a go you have nothing to lose so yeah definitely go check out the link down below and get one month free of Skillshare okay back to the roles let's get into role three role number three Number five, which is white over here. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a four or a two. Um, let's just go one, two and get the rose prompt. That's always fun, placing my fate in the hands of my patron. So roll three, we got the rose prompt, which if you don't know, when you join my patron, every tier, everyone gets to pick two books off of my physical TBR or the audiobooks I have access to and I write them down and then I pick one out when I get the rose prompt and one of my patrons picks what I read or multiple if it's a book that multiple people have picked because there are some books that a lot of people have picked because they know I want to read it. It's always fun <laughs> but always nervous placing my faith into my patron's hands but let's just pick a book. I've just picked one randomly. Oh my god that was quick. Usually I spend quite a lot of time rummaging but not today. Can you focus? Sleep. 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 Oh my God. God has smiled on me. <laughs> yes, he has. What? Who picked this? Sarah Louise. Sarah Louise is the only one who's picked sleep. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have wanted to read this for ages, but I haven't been able to fit it into a video. This is perfect. This is like an isolated, when is this set? I feel like it's going to be set in like the autumn. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is really fun. So we are at this like hotel in remote Scotland, this remote Scottish island. Seven guests are there. Each of the guests has a secret, but one of them is lying about who they are and why they're here. There is a murderer staying here. Ooh, 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 I'm so excited. This is gonna be so much fun. I have a video coming up that this will be really fun to read for because this is gonna be like a quick, fast-paced mystery thriller. Mm, 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 mm. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Sarah Louise. So I've heard really good things about this, particularly from Mara from Books Like Woe. She's why I picked it up. And if Mara recommends a mystery, I'm gonna read it because I have really good luck with what Mara recommends. I love an isolated closed circle murder mystery. Ooh, that I think there's like a storm and they're all stuck in. Like, I don't know if it's snow or some kind of like wind, rain storm, but they're stuck in together in this hotel. This is a reason to celebrate. I'm so excited. God, what a great pick. I'm so excited. I'm going to be reading this this month. Roll number four. 
person number four, which is pink over here in horror. Okay, that's good. I have lots of horror to read this month. Let's see how many we roll. A three and a one. Um, how do I get to either of those? In <laughs> oh, I can go one, two, three. Let's do that. And that is number nine, which is a book with under 6,000 ratings on Goodreads. Oh, that might be tough with the, the horror I want to read. So next was a horror under 6,000 ratings, which is kind of lesser, you know, lesser read books. I feel like a third of my books maybe have under 6,000 ratings, maybe around that. So yeah, it's a book that hasn't been read as much. And I'm kind of cheating because this book is very quickly going to get over 600 ratings, I think. I don't know if it's actually technically out yet or is about to come out, but but it already has about a thousand ratings on Goodreads, so I reckon it has come out just about. And that is The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. <laughs> this is a Carrie retelling, that's all I really know about it. It's about identity, the real horrors of American racism, the terrifying power of one girl trying to reclaim her life. But we know, if you've been here a while, I did not have good luck with Grown or White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. But I've only seen people giving this five stars. When I go on my friends on Goodreads, five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars. Like I am just, I have good feelings about this. <laughs> So yeah, horror. I just feel like it's the perfect time to read it. It's just come out. I feel like I'm doing a little bit better at reading some 2022 releases when I have been trash at that lately. Yes, this is gonna be my first Tiffany Jackson five star. I'm saying it now, I'm declaring it now, and that makes it true. <laughs> Delusion, <laughs> convince yourself. I'm gonna be obsessed, I'm gonna be obsessed. Okay, time for our number five. Person number six, which is yellow over here. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a three or a one. Let's just go one, two, three, which is number 19, which is a book I've hauled recently. Roll five was a thriller that I have hauled recently and I decided to give this to my book club to vote, my patron book club. So my patrons get to vote on one round of TBR Cluedo every month and that ends up being a book club pick for the month. So I knew I wanted it to be like a thriller, mystery or horror that we read. And I picked the four most recent thrillers on my TBR other than the It Girl by Ruth Ware because I have plans to read that in a video on the main channel. They all happen to be book of the month thrillers. <laughs> I got from book of the month. The choices I gave them were Breathless by Amy McCulloch, Things We Do in the Dark, Dark by Jennifer Hillier, uh, The Lies We Tell by Julie Clark, and You're Invited by Amanda J. Atissa. And very quickly, they decided, we do not care about Breathless and The Lies We Tell, which Breathless was my probably my main choice. I was like, I just wanted. But anyways, the vote was like constantly tied between these two. Like they would be swapping who was in front. It would be like three percentage points. They'd be like up and down, you know, like <laughs> competing with another each with like 40% of the vote or something. The one that I probably was rooting for was Things We Do in the Dark. And this was in the lead for a long time, but I went to sleep <laughs> last night and woke up this morning and You're Invited had, had cinched it. It got like 51% of the vote or something. Now this is fun because I reckon quite a lot of people are already reading it because it's the Literary Dead Book Club pick for this month. So listen, me and Kayla were just in sync. We're in sync. <laughs> I am still very excited to read this. I've actually heard a lot of good things about it already and it is like basically my thing because it sounds very much like the guest list. So I am very excited still to read it. We've got this wedding happening. The tagline is what could be worse than your ex-boyfriend marrying your childhood best friend getting accused of her murder. So we're on this island again. We know we've got a closed circle of suspects and I think murder happens. I think the bride is killed. Oh no, goes missing and is presumed dead. Oh, I'm so I am really excited. I think this is gonna be a really fun one to read with everyone. So yeah, if you wanna join us, come join my patron down below. The link is always down below. I'd love for you to come join us. It's an amazing community over there. But yeah, we're gonna be reading You're Invited as our October book club pick. And I feel like this is a great choice. Okay, time for the final roll. Person number two, which is purple in mystery. Let's see how many we roll. Okay, four and a six. Where should we go with that? Can we make it over there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> that is number 22, which is a title with three words. And then the final roll was a mystery with three words in the title. And for this, I have picked another one of the books I am most excited to read, God. Luck is just on my side. The horrors. The Dark Academia, The Mysteries. I want you guys to know the vlogs coming this month. Oh, might be my best vlogs of the year. Oh, oh. Oh, might be my best vlogs of the year. How does that taste? Um, <laughs> anyways, I picked True Crime Story by Joseph Knox. Yes! <laughs> 
<laughs> yes! This is a book that was gifted to me at Christmas last year by one of my patrons. I'd never heard of it before. I'd never heard of it before, but it is a mixed media true crime story. <laughs> It says, in the early hours of Saturday, 17th of December, 2011, Zoe Nolan, a 19-year-old Manchester University student, walked out of a party taking place in her accommodation. She was never seen again. So this is a series of interviews. We have, um, what else do we have? Emails, newspaper stuff, I think. There's so much, there's like redacted information. There's like parts with pictures. Oh my God, I'm just so, excited to read this. I've heard great things about the audiobook as well actually, so I need to go order that, I need to go get my hands on that. This is like a top five star prediction for me, I think it could be one of my favourite books. You know, mixed media tends to be a book, like a trope, not a trope, a feature that I love so much. I feel like almost every book that I read with prominent mixed media I end up giving five stars. So I am just so excited, I'm so excited. Oh, this month is really... October and November are it, aren't they, for reading. They are really it for the reading vibes, my God. So there we have it. That is my TBR for the spooky month of October. I am so happy with what I'm gonna be reading this month. Let me know, please, of what you've thought of any of these books, which ones you're most excited to see me read. I am so beyond excited for the videos that I have coming this month. Like they're some of my favorite videos that I've ever had. So I'm really excited to do lots of reading, lots of hanging out with you guys. The vlogs will probably be quite long, some of the ones I've got coming. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you got into the end, comment. Comment the rose emoji for the rose prompt because I am so happy with sleep. That perfectly fits the vibe. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So comment like a flower rose emoji if you got into the end. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.